welcome to my YouTube channel. This is gonna be a 10 minute standing glutes exercise. So starling, standing up onto your mat in about the middle of your mat. Your feet are parallel, so your toes are facing the front. Your feet are hip width apart. I'm just gonna take your hands onto your hips, pull down your shoulders, lift your chest. So we're just gonna start with some parallel squats. So starting to bend into your knees, taking your tailbone back. So you want to make a nice diagonal line from your tailbone to the top of your head. And then as we lift up, we want a nice squeeze of the bottom at the top. So we're going to hinge forward, squeeze up. So just checking that your knees are going directly over your toes, keeping the back nice and lengthened. Making sure that that core is switched on so we don't want to arch into that lower back. You can get your ribs to your hips so we take it into the core so we start to activate into there. We've got four, three, nice squeeze of your bum at the top, two, last one. We're going to come down into your parallel squat. You're going to hold, hold it here. We're going to lift up halfway, we're going to lower, lift halfway, lower, lift and lower for five, four, three, two, last one, sink it down, just lift up your right heel, lower, left heel lifts and lowers, so we just want to start to warm up into those ankle joints, so making sure as you lift your heel, we don't want to bob up and down in the body, we stay nice on one level and it's just that heel lifting independently. Checking that you're pushing nice and even onto your five toes. We're not rolling on those ankles. Shoulders stay nice back and down, chest lifted. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Carefully lift up. We're going to start to work now into single leg. So, similar position, keeping your shoulders down. This time we're going to bend into the knees, keep the body nice and high, so nice and lifted. We're going to tap your right toe forward. We're going to draw it back. Tap it forward and back. So all my weight is on this left supporting leg. My toe just taps, it lifts front. Making sure your left knee is over your toes. For four, three, two, Last one, tap your right foot forward and hold. Now you've got a soft bend in your right knee. We're just gonna go for 10 little pulses into that left knee. So with a pulse, it's a nice squeeze. Try not to bounce. So we protect those knees. So sinking the weight down, finding that resistance, that two-way pull. So as we sink down, we wanna lengthen through the spine for four, three, two, Last one, stay nice and low in your left knee. Draw your right leg all the way to the back. Extend the right leg out so it's nice and lengthened. Starting to hinge forward with the body. So now we want to make a nice diagonal line from the top of the head down to your right toe. Left knee stays soft over the toes, shoulders back and down. Now lengthening down that right toe, you're going to start to lift it up. We lower, lift and lower, so keeping this core nice and strong, so we don't arch into that lower back. Reaching through those right toes so it's nice and lengthened for four, three, two, last one, let's hold it up. You're gonna flex your foot, push down your heel, find more length down the back of that leg. You're gonna give me eight little pulses, lift, 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 and lift, four, three, Two, one, draw the right knee all the way in. Lift up with your left leg, bring your right knee up to your retire. So your right toe is to your left knee. Keeping your hands on your hips, start to rotate your right knee out to the right side. Glue your right toe onto your left knee. Draw the right knee in, extend to the side and in. Extend side, draw in. So now we want to start to wrap into this right glute. Checking that those hips stay facing forward. Squeeze side and in. Four more. Three, two. Last one, bring the knee back into parallel. 
gently start to take your right foot behind you. So we're gonna come into some lunges. So as you drop down your right knee, just have a little check now that your right knee is directly underneath your hip. Sink down, knee just kisses onto the floor. Then we're gonna drive it, the right foot in. Right foot steps back again. Right knee kisses the floor, squeezes up. So we come in to our lunges, keeping the upper body nice and strong. As we squeeze in, we wanna power through that left glute to help drive us in. Checking that your left knee is directly over your toes. Three, two, last one, we're gonna hold it back here. Reach your arms up. Start to hinge forward on your hips. Bring your hands in front of you down onto the floor. Start to extend your right leg up so your right leg's in a nice arabesque line. So your left knee is soft, right leg is lengthened, your shoulders into those back pockets, core strong. Now reaching down that right toe, I want you to tap the right toe down. Lift it up. We lower and lift. Lower down. Left knee stays nice and soft. Reaching through that right toe for four, three, two. Last one, let's hold it up. Start to flex the foot, push down the heel, give me eight more little pulses. Squeeze it up, 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 squeezing in the core. Shoulder blades down, four, three, two. And last one, gently take that right leg behind you. Transfer the weight back and just come into a gentle little hamstring stretch. So both your toes are facing the front. Coming up onto your 10 toes, lift your heels, pivot around to the front and have a little stretch over your legs. Soften into your knees, carefully start to roll up through your spine. So we have got another leg to do. So starting the other way, starting in your parallel squat. So feet hip width apart, toes facing the front. Hands onto your hips, pull down your shoulders, lift your chest. Start to soften, a little bit forward, soften into your knees. This time, keeping the weight on your right leg, start to take your left toe forward, draw it back forward and back. So we stay on one level. It's just that left leg moving. There's a gentle little tap of your toe onto the mat. Right knee is over your toes for three, two. Last one, let's hold it forward. Bend in the left knee, dip your toe on the floor. You're gonna give me eight squeezes down. So remember, it's that nice resistance, try not to bounce into that right knee. Trying to sink a bit lower every single time for four, three, two, and last one. We're gonna gently bring that left foot all the way back. So hinging forward on your hips. So now we make that diagonal line from the top of our head down to our left tippy toes. Nice diagonal line. Right knee stays soft over those toes, shoulders back and down. Left leg extends up. It lowers, lifts, lower. Squeeze up and down. Four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna hold it up. Flex through your foot, push down your heel. You're gonna give me eight little pulses. Pulse it up, 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 up. Squeezing into the core. Four, three, two. Last one, hold it up. Start to bring your left knee in. Take your left toe to your right knee. Now pulling up on your right leg, coming up into your retire. So keeping your hips forward, start to take your left knee out to the side, drawing it back in. Left knee goes side and in. So now we're wrapping into the side of that left glute, keeping the hips facing the front. Four, three, two, Last one, bring the knee back to parallel. Gently start to take your leg back 
and just reposition your feet so we can go straight into those lunges. So just check your feet are facing the front. As you come down into your lunge, you want the knee directly under your hip and you want to kiss that knee to the floor. As we squeeze in, now we're powering through that right glute. Step back, tap, draw in, making sure that right knee goes directly over your toes, powering through the right glute, keeping your upper posture nice and strong. Four, three, you're gonna hold it in two. Last one, we're gonna hold it here. Start to hinge forward on the hips. Bring your hands in front of you down onto the floor. Transfer your weight onto your right leg. Lift your left leg up to your arabesque line. So we're soft in the right knee. Shoulders are backing down. Fingertips onto the floor. Reaching now down that left leg. We're gonna to start to tap it down. We lift, lower, squeeze up. So get in a nice squeeze into that left glute. Right knee stays over your toes for four, three, two. Last one, let's hold it up. Start to flex now into your left foot. Push down the heel, give me eight little pulses. Up, up, up. Squeeze, four, three, two, and one. Gently starting to take your left foot back onto the floor. Transfer the weight back. Try to straighten both your legs and come into your hamstring stretch. So both your toes are facing the front. And then lifting your heels. Start to pivot on your heels, toes. Come back to the center. Have a little hang over your legs. Hands go down to your mat. Start to heel toe your feet in. Soften into your knees. Let your arms and head hang heavy. Exhale, we start to restack through your spine segmentally. Fallaba by Fallaba. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and bring them down your back. Well done, guys. That was your 10 minute standing glute exercises. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more workouts.